Miss Woods, you say you had a brief sexual relationship with Mr. Volmar, which resulted in him intentionally impregnating you. You say Mr. Volmar now refuses to take responsibility for his child, and you are here today to prove he is your baby's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Volmar, you say Ms. Woods is a manipulative liar who was sleeping with multiple men during the time of conception and is so desperate to be with you that she's decided to pin her child on you. Is that correct? You can't blame her. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, Ms. Woods, how did you get involved with Mr. Volmar? I was going through some issues with my other kid's father, and Which one? one night I went to the club and wound up running into Mr. Vermore. He actually walked up to me while I was having a drink and he whispered in my ear and told me that I look like something that he, you know, he could see himself with. So we exchanged numbers. I wound up leaving the club. He called me the following morning and asked me, can I come over to his house? I told him yes, but I had, to wait, I had to make sure that, you know, my baby father was leaving out for work that following morning. So I headed to Mr. Vermore's house. We wound up drinking and smoking. One thing led to another. We wound up having sex. The condom popped, and I told him, like, I'm a fast breeder. Like, I have four other kids. <laughs> So a fast he, breeder. Yes, She's I'm a fast definitely breeder. A fast breeder. Let's just say fertile. Yes, I'm fertile. I'm sorry. Okay. He told me he had he was in a relationship for five years, and um, he, the girl wasn't able to, you know, get pregnant. So you admit you had a sexual relationship with Miss Woods. That's it. And you weren't in a committed relationship. Never. And once she told you she was pregnant, did you immediately think it was your child? No. You didn't? No. What were you thinking, sir? I said, wow, congratulations. Do you agree with her assertion that when no. you all had sex, the condom broke? Condom broke. The condom broke. It was sex. It was fun. Okay. A lot of fun. And, and okay. And, and the condom broke. Yeah. So at the point that she tells you she's pregnant, you don't believe you're the biological father? Or yeah. do you remember that night when the condom broke? I kind of remember the night that the condom broke. There was a couple of nights the condom broke. And I just said, you know what? If I got it, I already got it. Who needs condoms anymore? So, wait, you're admitting that then you started having unprotected sex with her? Oh, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point is, is that you admit that you could be this child's father. Right. I don't know. You don't know, but you could be. I, I don't know because, you know, I've tried it before. It didn't work. I don't so know. So, when you say you tried it before and it didn't work, what do you mean? I it's tried well. to get three different women pregnant. And when I stop trying, she gets pregnant. I don't know. It don't add up to me. Okay. And so, Ms. Woods, when you told him you were pregnant, what was his response? He automatically told me that he wasn't the father because I was staying with a man at the time. You and... lived with him. You just it can't visit me. It does not matter. I was at your house every day, so how I had time to have sex with you and have sex with him? You well, uh, wait a minute night. now, went Ms. To sleep Woods. In the bed with him. I mean, of course you're gonna have sex. Ms. Woods, man. if you were living with him, you were still in a relationship with him, right? Right. I was in a relationship but you with my having... other kids' father, but I was not having sex with him within that month I conceived. So when you found out you were pregnant. I automatically knew he was the father because I was not dealing with him. You lived with him. How can you not be dealing with him? He was driving his car. You wanted this baby. At the end of the day, you wanted a baby. You kept saying how I make beautiful kids. You wanted a baby. I was I did not sex. want a, I That's did not want a child because sex. I had four other kids. <laughs> I did not want no child with him. I was talking in the heat of the moment. Like, come on, man, really? So, Ms. Woods, you saying you were in a relationship with your other child's father. Right. You were having sex with Mr. Volmar. No, you can just call me side you piece. You told him... Side piece. Well, basically, that's what you were. Exactly. I, and, and I, I was the same. I was the same to him. I told like, her. I'm the side the piece. I'm a good was, side I piece. So, so wait a minute. Attacked. You were have You had Mr. Volmar She'll on the side. She'll be on the phone with her boyfriend. I'll be laying in the bed, rubbing on her booty <laughs> while she's talking to him. Okay, I was a good side dude. I didn't say anything. He had no problems. Come over whenever you want. We had fun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Miss Woods, did yeah. you ever tell your ex that he could be Madison's father? When I found out I was pregnant, I have no choice but to tell him that he might be the father because I was staying with him at the time. So, I'm stuck having a baby. Are you? 
Yeah, I had the baby. By who? By you. Are you sure? I'm positive. You told I'm 100 percent sure. I don't even know his name. You told look at boyfriend. that baby. That baby looks just like you. She don't look nothing like me. She that baby don't have exactly anything like for you. me but my toes. That baby look exactly she like has him. Your head. His eyes, his nose, his she facial has your structure. Feet. That baby look just like him. I'm, I'm you make the same faces. I remember. <laughs> That's you. Mr. Volmar, let's 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 try to take this seriously, really, because. Yeah, because this is why I cannot deal with him, and this is why I didn't want no baby for him, because the type of attitude he have, how he's set up, like, he just, he just ignorant, and I cannot deal with but him. But no, I no, no but Miss, Miss Woods, you were dealing with him. Yeah, That's why we're it, here. Because I was going through something with my other she kids' She likes father. the ignorance, Your Honor. I was going through something with my other kids' father. At the time, he you made me feel good like. about myself. She upgraded when she dealt with me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You have a boyfriend, so why would you mess things up by going to be with Mr. Volmar repeatedly? It was, just, it was just so much was going on with my other kids, father. Like, the fussing and fighting, like, I got tired of that. So let's go cheat on him. Pretty much. Good job. Good job. You sleep with Mr. Volmar, another yeah. guy. No, we had sex. There was no sleeping. Oh. Sex. No sleeping. Let, let's just be respectful in court. He just, he ruled. He ruined my relationship at the end of the no, day. You no, ruined no, your no, relationship. No, no. You ruined it. I don't, ruined think, it. I don't think he ruined it. I How think, Miss you... Woods, you have to own the fact that you ruined it. I own it. I own that story. You ruined it. I you had a relationship. It seems like... I mean, you've probably been going through some problems. Right, I And have. That's, that's what couples do. I mean, there's that old saying that, you know, the way that you get over one person is to get under another person. Right. And that's, and that's not what, true. And that's what happens. But she that's not right. true, right. as you can see. Right. That's some bad advice. Right, because now there's a child involved. Exactly. Are you still in a relationship with the other guy? No, and the fact is, like, he's hurt over the situation, but at the end of the day, I can't blame him. You ultimately had to tell him that it could potentially be... Right, right. She told him Before. that after she, like... I didn't even know she told him that he might be the dad. So this is something I just learned today. Thank you. I didn't actually Wait. tell him, Your Honor. I told my mother and my she mother told She came to me them, and told always him. told me, you are the dad, 100% sure, 1,000% percent sure. Because I was dealing with just you within no, that time period I you were dealing I with see. me, him. What about the other guy I saw you in the club with? That was just a friend. That don't got nothing. I, I was, was just a and friend. And that's what you keep on saying. You keep on bringing it to that I other guy, but you friend. know you the father. I don't know. Then when I had my baby, I'm in labor. Where my did you have your baby at? Me, out there in Lafayette. She ran. She left Georgia, ran to Louisiana, had a baby. Didn't call me till after the baby was born. Then she comes back to Georgia like, I have your daughter here. Your Honor, I called him when I was in labor giving birth to my child. You he called me eight me months later. Phone. Eight he months. He blocked me off of his phone. What you want me to do? I found out she was pregnant. Within two to three months, she was gone. I was dealing with so much with my other kids' father. That's why I wound up leaving and going to a whole nother state. I didn't want to move to New Orleans because it's, it, they had so much going on down there. So the closest place is Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. That's where I moved with my kids. That's just as bad. Just as bad. So when she comes back, the baby's born. Right. The baby's born. She came back, the baby was literally three and a half months old when she came and first time I seen the baby. Ever. And said, this is your baby. Yep. And I looked at her with the same look I'm giving you right, right now, like, what? And so, Ms. Woods, when you arrived and you told Mr. Volmar he's your child's father... Yeah. Wh what was his reaction? He said he wanted to get a blood test. When I got down here, he finally came to meet his child for the first time. I don't know if that's my child. Your Honor, I'm that speaking right child. now. Okay. Might be his kid. We riding around or whatever. He wound up bringing the kid back. I'm like, what you done that for? What you brought the kid back for? Oh, I know it's my child. So which is it? Either she your child or she not your child? Like, he just... I can't deal with him. Did you take him. the DNA testing kit back to he brought the store, it back. Mr. Volmar? I wish I could have took her back to the store. She's the worst thing that happened to me. I promise you. I got so many headaches. This is like... 
Why didn't you take the DNA test? Because he cheap, he don't want to pay for nothing. It's gonna cost $75 or $100 for you to get the results back. He didn't want to pay it because he's cheap. Oh, so once you got the box, you realized that it wasn't like a pregnancy test where you get the results right, right there and you had there. to send them off right. and no, send no, the check. No. You know what I did? I started thinking about, like, why am I paying for something that might be somebody else's? Get somebody else to pay for it. Mm. Fed up with the lies, the nonsense. You know, it's just a whole bunch when of... When you keep stories. saying she's lies, what, which lies are you talking about, Mr. Volmar? One, she's pregnant by me. Okay. okay. I've been to the doctors. I have low sperm count. So he's saying. So I know. I would have you 20 have kids by now if that was not true. Okay, everybody you. body is not the same. All right. I like to clone myself. So, Mr. Volmar, you say you have a low sperm count, is that correct? Yeah. And you submitted to uh, a sperm analysis test, a new one for this court. Yes. Because we wanted to get better information. We have called upon Dr. Jamila Gator, MD, with Rise Wellness Medical Clinic. Jerome, can you please escort the expert in, please? Oh. Hello, nurse. Hello, Dr. Gator. Hello. Thank you Dr. so much for joining us today. Um, we are, of course, in a paternity case yes. concerning beautiful baby Madison. Mr. Volmar stated for the court that he has a low sperm count. He'd undergone testing. We wanted to retest him. What was your analysis of the results? So, uh, Mr. Volmar had several factors that indicate he does have a low sperm count. One was the sperm count itself. It was at 20 million. Anything below 20 million is considered low sperm or oligospermia. And that does decrease your chances of fathering a child. Thank you. However, it does not make it impossible for a man to father a child. You, you was on my side for a second there. It well, th the rest of the analysis shows that he also had good motility of a sperm, which is also important because the sperm have to swim to the egg right. in order to fertilize it. How can it they swim? Feet. I can't swim. Well, <laughs> your sperm can certainly Mr. swim. Like, so this is you, him, you're becoming a clown. Mm -hmm. And this is not a circus. This is a courtroom. I understand. We're getting the information concerning your body and your potential conceiving this beautiful baby. Yeah. It's not a joke. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dr. Gator. Go ahead. So, based on those results, 40% of men with his type of picture actually need medical help to conceive a child. But on the flip side, up to 60% can go on to father a child naturally. So it's really, it's really a toss-up. It's really a 50-50 chance in terms of his sperm count and his ability to father a child. 46. So now that you've heard that, Mr. Volmar, does it change your position at all in terms of you believing the child could potentially be yours? No. Because she's saying it's possible. She's saying 40, 60. She's saying I have low sperm. She's saying it could happen, but it didn't. You just don't believe it? I, 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 I know. I mean, she's a beautiful baby, but... I, yes, I don't, she is. I don't see me in her at all. Ms. Woods, what are your hopes for today? I mean, this is, this is not an easy situation. Right. I just want to lay everything out on the table. I want him to see that Madison is his daughter. I want his mother to see. I want his whole entire family to see that this is his child. I don't have no reason to throw a child on him. He's a loser. <laughs> Let's be respectful. Okay, Jan, I'm sorry. But I just want him to see that this is his child. Step up and do what he got to do as far as providing for this child. She likes having sex with losers. Listen. Just being honest. Let's just keep the decorum. Okay. Because this is a very serious time. Right. You came here for answers, and I have those answers for you. Okay. Jerome? <laughs> Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Woods versus Volmar, when it comes to four-month-old Madison Woods, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Volmar, you are the father. Thank you! Thank you! You're the father. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Anna. Thank you. You are the father. That is your beautiful little girl. Exactly. Looking just like him. Thank you, Your Honor. How's it feel? Hmm. 
You seem... I might have lost the words. Really? Yes. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. She's beautiful. Can I hold her? Now, that's a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. It's gonna be my little piece of gold, now that I know. I think in light of Mr. Volmar's, I think very real, honest reaction. Ms. Ham, you are here today to prove to Mr. Kistner that he fathered your 11-month-old son, Zayden. Yes, Your Honor. You're joined by your mother, who says that she is tired of stepping up to play daddy whenever Mr. Kistner decides to run out of your lives. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Kistner, you've given everything up to be with Ms. Ham, but now you claim her promiscuous and foggy past have caused you to doubt that you fathered her yes, son. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Ham, what does Mr. Kistner do for your son? Um, well, he may be there physically for Zayden, but he's not there financially. Um, he doesn't have a steady job. He doesn't do as much as I would want him to do. Have you been there for the child, Mr. Kistner? Yes, I haven't been there, but yes, I have. Miss Willen, you said you're tired of playing daddy because you've got to step up. Yeah, he is there right now, but he's 11 months old. He wasn't there for the birth. And as far as a baby shower or anything like that, his family didn't want to be a part of that because they didn't think that Zayden was his. So, Mr. Kistner, you admit that you try to be there physically when you can. Yes. Why haven't you supported the child financially at all? I'm trying my best, Your Honor. I do not have a steady job. That's right. But I'm trying my best to be there for Zayden. Just doing everything I can to just live where I'm living right now, and I am so grateful. And you seem emotional right now. What, what are you feeling? Well, Your Honor, I betrayed my family. My family spent $200 for me to get back home. And I was very sick When you say you betrayed your family, what do you mean by that? Well, I came back home and my family was telling me, don't go back there. You know, you're here now. We got you back home. Don't do that. And I just decided to go back there. Why is that a betrayal? Child. I just feel that's what my family thought. They don't want you to go back because they don't believe that Zayden is your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. And why are there doubts? At the time of his birth, I was showing my family his photographs that Ashley had sent, and they tell me he doesn't look like me. You know what? I don't agree with that. We have photos right here, and you put them side to side, and they look exactly alike. Which photos did you bring? May I see those, those please, right Jerome? Here. What are these photos of, Ms. Ham? Um, it's Zayden and him when they were both babies. So these are photos of Mr. Kistner when he was a baby. And of Zayden as a baby. Yes. Probably around the same age. And you think they look alike. There's Absolutely. a resemblance. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But your family, Mr. Kistner, says there is no resemblance. Correct. But I also have my doubts because she has been unfaithful. Zero. Give me specifics. Tell me exactly why you doubt. You say she's been unfaithful. Specifically, how? Well, Your Honor, she slept with my close friend. Oh. I've known since I was little. Did you sleep with his good friend, Ms. Ham? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. Why would you sleep with his good friend? Well, we were dating for a couple weeks, and his friend had broken up with my friend. He just wasn't there for me at the time. I felt like we were both partying, and he wasn't... Talking as so much. you weren't really getting along with Mr. Kistner that way. No. You felt like he wasn't stepping up to the plate as a boyfriend or no. doing what you need. So, so I why broke is up it with you chose him. to date? I broke up with him and then. Why his friend though? I don't know. We went to a hotel for one day and then I picked him up the next day and I told him the truth and he still wanted everything to do with me and. So. You felt awful about it, and you immediately told Mr. Kistner. Yes, that was the next day. And he said he still wanted to be mm -hmm. in a relationship with you. Yes. Is that true, Mr. Kistner? Yes, that's true, Your Honor. I believe that Miss Ham could sh show me change, and, you know, she did. She really stepped up as a mother and left all that life behind. So she did? She did. 
So, Ms. Ham, were you with anyone else? No. Not besides his friend, and then that's it. I got taken advantage of at a party, and that was in, like, September. And Your Honor, where she was please at... say something. Yes, ma'am. She was in a bad place before she had Zayden. That's why I was so worried. Well, when she, she talks about going to hotel rooms drugs. with men and drinking and doing drugs, you know, that I have to ask day. the difficult questions. When you're drinking and doing drugs, do you truly remember everything you've done? Yes, I do. You do? I, I have... I know what I did, and I told him exactly what happened the next day. They are both in my home right now, and I believe that Mr. Kistner is insecure, and she is also insecure. They're very young. They're playing house. With these results, that's why we need this. They ain't even playing house. You gotta have a house to play house. If they're playing house they in my house. house. <laughs> and this is the exact reason, right, Jerome, that we talk about in this courtroom. I tell young people all the time, you don't have any business having sex and engaging in activities that produce human beings that you can't take care of when you can't take care of yourself. Your Honor, I agree. <laughs> the real world now. Right. Yeah. The fact that since she's been a mother, she has been an amazing mom, a completely different person. You know, we made that choice as a family to move out of state to get her away from friends and that way that life could never come up again. She can start new. But they both have an opportunity here to start fresh, to start new and put the past behind them. But it has to be on their expense and not me and my husband and my other two kids. You know, I'm working two 40 hour a week jobs just to support everybody. It's on my shoulders. That is not fair to you. And I am doing it because she didn't have her biological father. I made a choice when she was young that I wasn't gonna have a bad life for her. So my husband and me have been raising her together since she was three months old. So she is his, not biologically, but in any way that counts. So. They have to make a choice if they are going to put that in the past and be a family and move on positively or if he is going to throw that in her face that Zayden is not his because never once in the 20 years that I've been with my husband has he ever said, Ashley's not mine, I'm not going to do this. And that is admirable, I must say. Um, so, Ms... Willen, do you believe Mr. Kistner is Zayden's biological father? 100%. I don't have any doubt. You I do? I just don't. He's a great guy. He's great with Zayden. He's a great father. They just need that direction. They need that push. They need that, that oomph. Mr. Kistner, is your doubt because your family doesn't think he's yours, or do you personally truly believe that this child is not yours? Your Honor, I have so much doubt. I don't believe I just... that because when I was around him in the beginning for six months, he was, you know, all about Ashley's pregnancy. And every time he had doubt was when he came back from his, his family's house. Okay. So you feel like he was, they don't he was buying contribute. in, he was trying to step into this role of yes. father. And then and when he'd go seemed... home, yes. he'd come back and it'd be like, you have to start all over again. Yes, Your Honor. We need the results for this test. This is why it's gonna go back and forth, okay? When they're in fight mode, when I come home after 19 hours, this is the fight mode that I get. I get he said, she said, this is, that is. What it is, is I am supporting this family, okay? I am taking away from my younger children to support this family, okay? And your honor. And they need and, and, and you to know what the together. truth is, Ms. Willen, I really don't know why you're doing it because I've been asking Mr. Kistner, why does he doubt, I doubt that this child we is his and you have not given me one reason? A condom. So that's why I know. I, I know what I did and I know what I didn't do. We were having that, sex every day without a condom. Your Honor, I agree. I agree. Thing is, is that she would take off on me 
and leave me without knowledge of where she would go, what, sh what would actually be going on. The stories would not match up. So you she feel like everything. she would go places and not tell you where she is, and you thought she was cheating? Yes. But did you ever find any proof that she was cheating? Did you see her I, with someone? I did did not... someone tell you they saw her? Well, what about everything was fine for six months and Ashley was going to stay with you and have the baby when we moved to Florida and we were going to send for both of you, but that lasted three days. I had to go pick up Ashley because this is the first time I'm hearing that he doubted that Zayden was his. Okay? So for six months, everything's fine, but the reason why I had to go pick her up is because he was actually out all that night. So... And during they got into times, another fight. Mr. And then Kistner, during these times that you say Ms. Ham disappeared or she didn't tell you where she was and you didn't know where she was, was there ever an occasion when she came back where facts were revealed to you that she had maybe been intimate with someone else or had a relationship with someone else? Maybe over texting, yes. And then there was also... You don't get pregnant through the text. Oh, okay. I understand that. But... She's texting. So she's flirting. Well, you can't get pregnant like that. No. What else? There's doubt right there. Because Your you Honor, feel like the texting and the flirting may be indicative I... of a, a larger relationship that could be going on. Exactly. What Wait, else? Well, whenever I landed in Florida the second time, I was on Ashley's phone and I found proof that she was talking to somebody else and it was saved in her pictures. I don't know if she knew or not, but she would be talking about she's got booty for decades to this other male. You would see in her phone evidence of sexual conversations she was having with other men. Pretty much, I mean, like enduendos. Is there anything else you found? Anything else you found that would in some way suggest to the reasonable person that perhaps Ms. Ham had been sleeping with somebody else? Well, I was talking to one of her other male friends because they were almost together all the time, too. She was going with them, going to places I don't know of. She would tell me, yeah, but is that really where she went? I don't know. She would come home two to three, four hours later and just would tell me the same story. Oh, we went to go get something to eat. Well, we live in a small town, Your Honor. It's about a mile and a half down the road to go get something to eat. Either way. Even though it's a small town? You have to go to Kenosha or Antioch. And that's far. Which is a mile and a half away. No, it's not. From where I live. So, And she would have right. the mail come pick her up from my house. Miss Ham, let me ask you, because Mr. Kistner is obviously having trouble talking about and explaining what his doubt really is. And yet he seems to truly have that. Do you know of something that would cause him to doubt whether or not Zayden was his biological child? Did you have sex with anyone else? Did a circumstance present itself that would make things seem a little unclear as to whether or not he truly is this child's biological father? I mean, before we started dating, I had set him down. I was like, listen, I have been through a lot. I have been with cheaters, and I was a cheater because I was cheated on. I would do the same thing. I let him know who I was before he had anything to do with me. I laid down everything. And he still wanted to be with me. He still wanted everything to do with me. So I think maybe the things that I've told him I've done to other people, he's going to put that in his head. I mean, who wouldn't? So, Mr. Kistner, have you developed a bond with Zayden? Yes, I have. You have? Mm hmm Because you're very emotional about this child. Why is it you're so attached to this child when you say your family doesn't know if this child's yours and you don't know if because this child's yours? Because he deep down knows. He knows. But I still have my doubts because of what's went on during our relationship. I think it's time for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Ham versus Kistner, when it comes to 11-month-old Zayden Ham, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Kistner, you are not the father.
Obviously, there were some facts left out of your testimony. Do you know who Zayden's father is since it's been determined that it is not? Really not. You don't really know? I just don't get it. I was with him every day. No, it's just a mystery, and I have to live with that myself. Could it be the friend's child? He is blonde hair and blue eyed with me. Well, like that me. doesn't. Let's not go on physical looks. Did you use protection when you slept with his friend? Yes. You did. Was there any other man besides Mr. Kistner you were having unprotected sex with? All I know is that time at the party. I remember at the end and I freaked out and stopped and then that's when he was trying to pick me up and my phone died. Were you drinking and doing drugs that night? Yes, I was. Okay. I mean, I'm there. I'm gonna be there. Even if the father decides to show up, I'm gonna be there. Well, Mr. Kistner, your testimony, your remarks, and your intentions are admirable. They are. But standing here in this emotional moment, Mr. Kistner, and saying, I'm gonna step up and be there for this young woman and this young child, I know good and well two young people your age, you don't even possess the maturity level to operate appropriately in these situations, and that's evident by what you're dealing with right now. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna do a whole bunch of things you haven't done up to this point. Ms. Wilson, you admit to an affair with a married man, and now you are furious that he's denying your one-year-old daughter, Shakira. You say your relationship with Mr. McKnight may have been a secret, but your daughter isn't. And once you prove he's the father, you want him to leave his wife and go home with you. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. McKnight, you are in court today with your wife, and you testify you fell victim to temptation, but you weren't the only man. And you are 100% certain you are not Shakira's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Wilson, explain why today's results are so important to you. Because my daughter is not a secret and uh, she needs to know her other siblings and um, I need to know, like, where we stand. Oh, so you say you're confused. You don't yeah. even know where you stand with Mr. McKnight? Yes. Well, Mr. McKnight's standing with his wife, so... Oh. How did you even start sleeping with a married man? How did this start? Okay, well, um, I was coming in to cash my check and I seen a wallet on the floor and I picked the wallet up and I seen his ID and it said Ramon McKnight. And I said, I seen him at the job. So when I seen him at the job, I hand him his wallet. And so after that, I seen him numerous times and then he just asked me for my number. Oh, so it started off as a good Samaritan. Yes. And once that happened, it started communication. Yes. And then at some point, he actually said, here's my number. Yes. So, how does it turn into a sexual relationship from there? What happens? So, he called me and he was like, I wanted to see you. And I said, okay. This was um, at the work. And he was like, we're gonna get a room. <laughs> so... Wait, so he just calls you and says, I wanna see you and we gonna get a room? Yeah, yeah, we was communicating before, you know. We was communicating, getting to know each other. Okay. And then it leads to... Let's get, let's a, room. get a room. Yes. And did he say to you, I'm married? Um, he was keep telling me, like, he was tired of his wife. Um... I never said that. Yes, yes, Your Honor, he did. He told me he was tired of her. She so he cook. told you he was married, but he yes. said, I'm tired of my wife. Yes. Mm. Your Honor. Yes. <clears throat> Your Honor, may yes. I say something, please? That's what they all say. Your Honor. Yes. <laughs> That's what he told me. He Your told Honor. me he was tired of her. She don't cook. Um, all she do is be home, watch the kids. She's not trying to work. She's not trying to help me provide with these children. Um, so, so he told you a series of frustrations he was having with his wife, but that he had a wife nonetheless. Yes. But yes, you Your still Honor. decided to go to the room? Yes, Your Honor. Why? Because at that time, you know, I was going through a lot. My mom had passed. So it's like, you know, you need that type of... You were looking for comfort. Yes. And, and companionship. There. Yes. All right. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, May ma I say something, please? Yes. Um, what she just told... What she just said in, in here in court, that's not what she told me, um, on the phone. Because she was the one who initiated contact. When Miss uh, Wilson contacted me, she said that she hurt my husband and, um, her and some other co-workers 
were all pretty much powwowing and uh powwowing? Pow <laughs> as in like hanging out. There was nothing sexual that occurred. Me and Raymond was having sex every day. Every day we get off of work, he was coming to have sex with me. Where? Day. At your house? At my house, at a room, in her, in her, her car, the car he bought her, that she got repo because she couldn't pay the note on it. And then on the truck he got that she got now, we had multiple sex in that truck too as well. So let's come on, boo-boo, let's not get it twisted. Your man be sleeping with me every night. And when he lying to you, calling you, saying he's doing overtime, he's with me. That did not. In my panties. So wait, that's, is that something you proud of? No, I'm just, uh, no, it's not that I'm your proud honor. of. I'm just, I'm just your letting honor. her know the truth. These um, are the facts. See, your honor, see, my, my position is this, your honor. Yes, I am legally married to my husband, and that's why I'm standing by him right now. But as a woman of integrity, I don't have to go back and forth with Ms. Wilson. I don't have to try to degrade her. I felt like some adult in, the, in this position needed to be responsible <laughs> because Ms. Wilson, Ms. Wilson nor my husband was doing anything to find this out. You're right. And, and you're, I'm still speaking, ma'am. Thank you. And I have children with my husband. If her daughter is, in fact, my husband's daughter, they need to know their siblings. I am not an immature woman. I don't feel the need to try and keep a man away from his child. I eliminated myself from the equation so that if he is the father, he can step up and take care of his responsibilities. So there's... So, okay, there's you're right. so hold on, nice. hold on, hold on. Because I, I have heard a lot of testimony from both of the women. But, Mr. McKnight? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. You're not doing a lot of talking. Um, but you are the common denominator that runs through this whole equation. How did you oh. get end up in a place as a married man at your job, supposed to be minding the business that pays you... <laughs> yes, ma'am. ...that you end up trying to sleep with Ms. Wilson? It started... As she said, she did find my wallet, but it was a coworker that used to work with us. And he was telling me, like, man, you should try to get, you should try to get her. And I was like, no, man. You're on the line. You know, but then he was like, you could go on ahead and, and that's get the her. line. And this same coworker, you know, me and him was sleeping with her at the same time. Me and him used to, like, me and him used to, me and him used to converse before we left work to find out who was going over there. That's a lie. Oh, that's just about nasty. That's a very, lie, Your Honor. Very, That's Your a Honor. lie, Your Honor. Very, That's a lie. So you're testifying in this courtroom that there was a co-worker who told you that you should go try to sleep with Ms. Wilson. Yes, Your Honor. But that same co-worker was sleeping with her, too? Yes, Your Honor. Why would he want you to sleep with the same woman <laughs> he's sleeping with? I, I don't know, but a lot of... Is that just how nasty you men out here acting? It... Is it, Jerome? Some... <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Sometimes. No, really. Is this is this Some, is this sometimes. something new? No. Me. Not in Detroit. <laughs> not in Detroit. Your Honor. No. You said not where? Not in Detroit. No. Oh no, no hold on. No, I'm from with, Detroit. Not with you. No, hold on. <laughs> Let's not bring Detroit in it, because I'm from Detroit. Me too. And it's plenty <laughs> of hardworking men that know how to take their butt home after they get off Thank work. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Some of y'all. You're Gosh. married. I know. How, how do you get from work? to in the bed with Miss Wilson, how do you let yourself think that's okay? I, I don't know. I just was tempted. Oh. I was just tempted. How were you tempted? <laughs> what was she doing? Keep it real. It was just real easy for me to be with Miss Wilson. No, it wasn't. Excuse me, Your Honor. Can I please talk, Your Honor? You're saying, trying to say that Miss Wilson was promiscuous? Yes, Your Honor. No, no. Your Honor, can I please speak? So what happened? Your Honor, like I said, when I found his wallet, he was very flirtatious. He was... Buy me, um, Skittles, Pops, leaving there for me. Where did you all go to have sex? We, we're on, he, he paid for it, hotels, my house, his car, he got her, that she got repo, and the truck. I never, I never been with her in my truck. Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor. May so, I say something? Yes, A lot of times. Yes, Ms. McKnight. She knew that he was a married man. Right. And even if he pursued her, even if he bought her all the Skittles in the world, <laughs> No woman's integrity should allow them to just sleep with a married man or be with him or continue on with him or continue on with him knowing that he has a family at home, even if he actively pursued her. I really want you to testify as to how you even found out 
Uh, well, Your Honor, initially I found out <laughs> because um, Miss Miss Wilson did, in fact, call me on Messenger about 20 times, and she continued to leave messages. I had no idea what it was about. I thought that a coworker was trying to reach out to me. Maybe something had happened to him at work. So I uh, I answered. She told me, "I just want you to know because." Uh, Ray, because that's what some of his coworkers call him, is not telling you that we're together and we're sleeping together. And basically, she insinuated that he was leaving me for her. When I spoke with him later on, he said that that the reason why, because she he said that she had told him in advance she was going to tell me, and the reason why. Uh, she was upset because he, she had gave him an ultimatum and he told him that he was not leaving his family no, for her. So she was mad and decided to contact me. That's the lie. So why did you decide, I'm gonna call his wife? So he's telling the whole plant that me and him had sex. So I said, I'm gonna call your wife. And so that's what I did. He told the whole plan that we had sex, and guys was like, oh, well, Ram Ramon said that it was good. He, you telling them about, uh, you know, uh, our uh, sexual, uh, you know, relationship, that's, that's, that's making me look, I don't, that's... But my point is this. You realized he was married. Multiple and you realized you were the, the mistress. You at the plant. So at the point, <laughs> at that point, the whole plant knowing, it, 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 how is that at all Your relevant Honor, to I was never telling a his mistress wife? at the job. He was telling everybody that we was together. I'm not no mistress. Oh, at so, the job, yes. he was telling people that y'all were a couple. A couple. Yes. No, but, I didn't. But <laughs> how was that no, true I didn't. if you were sleeping with <laughs> his a, friend, too? I'm a, I'm a whole married man. Okay, Your that, that Your friend... Honor. I Your slept Honor. with his friend way before... Way before I even met, met Ramon. We was, we was sleeping with her at the same time. No, no, that's a lie. I slept with him way before I even All met right. Ramon. All right, so after you decide <laughs> you gonna tell the wife, do you break it off with Mr. McKnight once he says he's clearly not leaving his wife? Yeah, we stopped communicating. So, Mr. McKnight? Yes, Your Honor. Do you try to then work on your marriage? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so how? <laughs> that's a lie. I did, we have... That's with, a lie. Um, <laughs> me and her, we did go to... Uh, me and my wife, we went to counseling through our pastor. And uh, we was, you know, we was working on it. But clearly, that didn't work because Thank you're you. here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. What happens? He was coming to the, my department, always no. helping me, always flirting with me, always talking to me. I said, Ramon, look, it is what it is. I'm done with you. He like, I'm gonna get you back. So I one day, I that. was bending over to go put the, 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 the boxes on the pallet, and Ramon came behind me and bumped his on me, he was like, I'm gonna get you back. That never happened. Yes, Your Honor, it has happened. That yes, never happened. Yes, it was, Your Honor. That yes. never happened. So how did that get... How did that get you back? Because if you were <laughs> done with him... Because, I, because... Let's get this clear. Um, He's working with a 10-inch. So that's what got me... It, it, it brought back memories when he did that, and I'm like, well, wow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you're saying that Mr. McKnight is well endowed? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And you couldn't stay away? No. No, Your Honor. No. And then what happened? As though we started communicating, and then we started having sex every night. And then this is no, when he's wrecking me off every week for 50. No, we did No, I didn't. Every, every, every night, he came to see me, and on his payday, was Tuesday, because to get a car, he was paying me $450 every week. No, I was not, Your Honor. There's, yeah, yeah, he does. There's no way that that could possibly be true. And I know his true. amount of money that no, he, he was playing home. He was lying There's no her. way that he could have afforded... He li to, I have... Okay, unless he was, honor, actually, I have unless he was working up. three jobs. I have his Yes, she did. Up. She does have his checks He was supposed to give me an apartment. He was paying me $450 yeah. every week. Boo-boo, no, let's get it right. Honor. Yes, she was. No, no, no. Let me see that evidence, Miss Wilson. Yes, he was. It's in my possession, in my purse, boo-boo. You say Mr. McKnight was giving you $450 yes. a yes. week? Yes. Look at the check stubs. You will see. Yeah, he was paying me. Look at the check stubs. Yeah, he was paying you me for a every week. How he, was much lying. He... he was lying to you, boo boo, how much he was giving you, but it's, he was giving me for a every week. Were you giving her $450 yes, a week? Right, he was. No, Your Honor. It was oh not. Oh my God. Was, oh, my mama grave. You sent up to lying. It was not lying. no $450. Ramon, Your Honor. you lying? It was not. Were you, you giving lying? her money? Yes, he yes, was, Your Honor. Because, Why? Because, um, it was like she was blackmailing me. She was oh, telling me, I need, I need money, because if I don't get the money, I'm going to tell your wife lies. that you got this baby. And no, I'm going to oh, tell no. this, I'm going to tell that. When I, Your Honor, when I ended up pregnant, I called Raymond Ramon. He pulled up, I said, look, Raymond, I'm, I'm pregnant. And I said... I guess he had, like, he didn't believe me, so I took the pregnancy test in front of his face. He like, oh, you pregnant? I said, yeah. Raymond McKnight 
He went to the um, ultrasounds with me. He like, I got to schedule in the morning time because I don't want my whites to know. I said, Oh, Look. you were going to ultrasound yes, appointment? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I went to I went. Yes, I went Your Honor. To he was going to the ultrasounds with me, Your Honor. I went to one appointment He said, I want to know what we have in. I never said I what know we, we have Hold on, yes. hold on. Miss McKnight, I want you to yes, tell the court, how do you find out about the pregnancy? Well, I'm glad you asked, Your Honor. I received, like, about 20 phone calls back to back on Messenger. When I looked down and saw the name that it was Miss Wilson, I automatically knew, okay, here we go again. And she was like, I just want you to know that, uh, you know, Ramon sleeping with me, he's gonna be with me. He's, he gave me his check stuff so that we can get a place together. And I have a baby that I had in April. You know, she was messaging me constantly, trying to harass me. I have the evidence here. What kind here. of message was She was harassing me. I'm like, the, the audacity for you to be contacting me about my husband. I couldn't believe it. I'm like... Okay, and I'm like, did you bring evidence your husband. of those messages? Yes, I did, Your Honor. But They're right you're here. You're looking at me with your Hold on, Miss Wilson. And she's Girl, very adamant let me that see she those wants messages. To, she's very adamant that she wants a relationship with my husband. She wants to be with him. And she made it clear at the end of these messages. Whoa. 